What is going on guys? Welcome back to the tutorial series of Recycle View. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to drag and drop a car view in the Recycle View. For example, if you hold enough on one of these car view in the Recycle View, you can actually drag it and drop it where you want. And to do that is fairly easy. I will show you step by step how to achieve this. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so in the previous video, I explained how to create a car view and send that car view to the Recycle Adapter class to keep recycling them based on the item that you have in the list. And also explained how to implement a search view so that you can search for an item in your list and in this video i will only explain how to change the position of card view and your recycle view so let's start on coding so first you need to go to your main activity and then you need to go all the way down so right below on create method you need to create a simple callback object so let's do that private var and then we will call it simple callback and this is object and the type of the object is item touch helper and then you need to call simple callback to it and open to curly braces here and the reason that you have an error here you need to implement some of the functions that you have so let's import them as you can see we have imported two functions on move and on swipe in this video we will only work on on move this is where we will change the position of the car view in the recycle view and in the next tutorials i'll explain how to swipe left and right to delete and update an item in the recycle view but for now we can just return true for this and in here we need to add some parameters so item touch helper and then up and then you need to call our method on it and then in the our method you need to do the same for down as well so dot down and then for the left and right we will keep it zero for now all right so first when you hold on one of these items in the list we need to store the position of this card view and then when we drag it all the way and drop it there we need to store this position as well so we need to create two variables one for start position and one for end position and we store these positions so that we pass it to a helper function to replace the order of the items so var start position and that would equal to the view holder that we have and then we need to get the position so adapter position and we need to do the same for end position and that equal to target dot adapter position so once you have the positions we need to call collections and then on collections there is a swipe function and then we need to pass a display list and then start position and then end position as well so this will actually change the position of the items and then we need to call on recycle view adapt to notify that an item has been moved so recycle view and then dot adapter and then check if it's not null then notify item moved and then pass start position and end position and then do not forget to return true here and in here you actually do not return anything so we do not need any return value but we need it here because this function returns boolean all right so we need to attach this simple callback object to our recycle view so let's do that here so we need to create an object with the name of item touch helper and this would equal to item touch helper and then we pass simple callback object to it and once you have done that you need to call item touch helper and then attach recycle view and then pass the recycle view so i think this is it to see the result let's run our app all right so if you hold on one of these car view you can actually change the position and if you drop it here it will stay there and if you hold it again and you can drag it all the way down to the list and put it somewhere as you can see it works perfectly all right guys so you have done it if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to build mobile applications web development and programming tutorials please consider subscribing and click on the bell notification so that you do not miss on anything so see you guys in the next video where we will be working on swipe left and right to delete and update items.